Hi everyone, and welcome to another Fusion 360 Challenge of the Month. And today we are going to create the challenge for the month of July. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a neat trick. Let's set up and select Insert, selecting Attach Canvas. Now we are prompted to select a face. I'm going to select this face and select Image. Now I'm going to import our 2D drawing, going to front view and drag this curved handle. I'm going to input 5 and canvas opacity maybe around 69 or 74 and I'm going to take display through and finally hit OK. Now zooming in. So we now have our 2D drawing inside. Now I'm going to hit C to grab our circle. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. I'm going to select this face. Left click here. I'm going to pan this to the right. So our units should be in inches. So I'm going to select change active units. Left click this one. And over the unit type, selecting the drop down and selecting inch. Hitting OK. And continuing with our sketch. Hitting C once more to grab our circle. Left click here. Now the radius is 0.32. So I can type here 0.32 multiplied to 2 is our diameter. Hitting enter and enter once more. Next, I'm going to hit L for line. I'm going to drop our first point at the circumference of our circle. I'm going to type in point 8. Hitting enter. Hitting L once more to grab our line. Dropping our first point here and second point here. I'm going to hit escape. So I have hold my left mouse button and have created an arc. So I'm going to delete this one and instead hit S once more. Type in ARC for arc and selecting three point arc. Left click here, second point here, and third point here. Now the radius of our arc is 0.2. I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension, selecting this arc, dropping our dimension here, keying in 0.2, pressing enter. I'm going to hit escape and move over to our sketch palette. Under constraints, we're going to select tangent constraint, selecting this line and the circle, this line and this circle. Next, I'm going to hit D once more to grab our dimension, selecting our center point and the center point of this arc. I'm going to drop our dimension here and key in point 72, hitting enter. I'm going to hit escape and move our entities. So the center point should be aligned horizontally with this point. So I'm going to constraints once more and grab our horizontal vertical constraint. Left click, selecting this point and this point. So now they are aligned horizontally. Hitting escape to disable horizontal vertical constraint. Hitting L for line. I'm going to select this point. Next point here. Hitting escape. L once more. First point and second point here, hitting escape, hitting S to grab our sketch toolbox, typing in ARC and grabbing our three point arc, left click. First point here, second point here, and third point here, hitting escape. Let's now apply constraints, 
Now this line and this line should be parallel going over to our constraints and selecting parallel selecting this line and this line hitting D to grab our dimension selecting this line and this line the dimension is 0.4 typing in 0.4 hitting enter hitting escape and going back once more to our constraints and selecting our coincident constraint selecting the center point of this arc left click and our center point for this circle left click I'm gonna drag our entities to understand the constraint that is needed I'm gonna hit control Z so notice a while ago while dragging and resizing our entity or better yet our profile I noticed this one is not constrained horizontally so I'm going to select this line left click and right click so this is another way to grab our constraints and selecting horizontal vertical hitting escape now I'm going to grab our dimension hitting D once more and selecting this line and this line and moving my cursor slowly to the right left click here and key in 45 45 degrees for our angle hitting escape and dragging this center point let's now try if we can make this one coincident with this point control left click right click and hit coincident now I'm going to zoom in I'm going to select this point left click and hold once more left click and hold to move our entity next hitting D once more and grabbing our dimension tool left click this one this arc and I'm gonna drop our dimension here and key in the value which is 1.3 1.3 hitting enter hitting escape to disable dimension command now once more let's inspect our drawing we have four circles here now I'm going to hit T for trim and trim away this arc zooming in once more hitting C for circle creating our first circle here next one here next one here third one here hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension command selecting the circle dropping our dimension here and keying in point one hitting escape so the diameter of the circle should be the same with this three going to constraints and selecting equal constraint selecting this parent and this child repeating the process the circle and this circle now I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna hit escape to disable equal constraint hitting L for line first point here and second point here hitting escape hitting L once more for line first point and second point hitting escape selecting this line and control left click this line I'm gonna hit X to make this one as a construction line now moving to constraints and selecting symmetry selecting this point and this point and our symmetry line this point and this point and our symmetry line hitting escape and checking out our 2d drawing so we have point 3 and point 3 here and the circle is aligned horizontally to our center point 
So zooming in, hitting D, selecting this point and this point, going up, dropping our dimension and keying in point 3, pressing enter, selecting this point and this point, moving here, typing in point 4, hitting enter, hitting escape, and inspecting our profile. So this one is already vertical and horizontal. Next, we are going to align this point and our center point horizontally. Going to constraints, selecting horizontal, vertical. I'm going to left click here because something was selected. So left clicking anywhere outside in the canvas, deselects an item. Horizontal, vertical once more, selecting this point and this point, hitting escape and dragging. So this one is still moving vertically. Now hitting D or dimension once more, selecting this line and this line. Dropping our dimension here and keying in point 3, hitting enter, hitting escape. Now I'm going to position our center point to our origin. I'm going to select coincident, but first deselect this point by clicking here. Left click here for coincident, selecting this point and our origin. I'm going to hit stop sketch and move our canvas to the right. I'm going to go to canvas and expand this folder. I'm going to right click and select edit canvas. Now moving our canvas to the right and hitting OK. Also, we can calibrate this one to be the same as this length of this line. I'm going to right click and calibrate, selecting this point and this point and typing in point 8, hitting enter. So they are, they are now almost the same in length point 8 and point 8 here. So right click once more, edit canvas and nudge this to the right and hitting OK. So I have two sketches here. This one I do not need. I'm going to right click and delete. So I'm going to double click this sketch to go back into sketch mode and inspect our entities if they still move and they still need a constraint. So we are now fully constrained. So not yet. We have to position this one. Now we need this entities to be here. So what I would like to do, I'm going to hit S, type in P O and grab our point. I'm going to drop our point at the midpoint of this line, hit escape, go to coincident, select this point, or better yet, I'm going to grab our midpoint, selecting this point and this line, hitting escape to disable the command, trying to move these entities, so it's not moving, meaning it's fully constrained. So now I can hit E or extrude and select this profile. Left click. Now the thickness is 0.1. I'm going to go to home view. Zooming in and dragging our arrow. I'm going to change the direction to symmetric. So it's 0.1 divided by 2. 
finally hit OK. So selecting this edge, as you can see, it's 0.1. So congratulations for completing our monthly challenge. And now after completing the challenge, we encourage everyone to create a project and name this one as Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge July. And the other thing is we encourage everyone to place hashtag Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Hitting enter. Hashtag student expert. So we hope to see your works in the gallery. And once more, congratulations and see you on the next Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge.